Biblical Science Institute, uh, you, that's not the only book you've written. We've talked about, we had to have you on, talked about your, your books on astronomy. And, um, and then you have a book that every time, you and I are both in a lot of the same groups on uh, Facebook, uh, presuppositional apologetics, stuff like that. Every time people ask for, hey, what, what, what introductory text can I buy to use at our church and stuff like that? Um, your name comes up uh, because uh, absolute proof, ultimate proof, ultimate of creation. proof, ultimate, yeah. ultimate, ultimate, ultimate yeah. proof of creation, which I think on a marketing level, I'd go, I'm not sure that was the best title. Hmm. And the reason I say that is that if anybody knows who you are, their assumption is it's about creationism, maybe fossils, something along those lines. Um, people have to be told, no, this is actually about application of Christian worldview, presuppositional apologetics, uh, the whole nine yards. And it's sort of like, oh, okay. That's actually what I wanted. I want people to pick it up thinking, oh, I'm going to read about these new evidences, genetics okay. and fossils. And I do mention some of those. But then when they pick it up, they're going to get something much better. They're going okay. to get an actual proof okay. rather than. So it's, it's, it, was a, it was quite intentional. Okay. And it's apparently good marketing because it's my best-selling book. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. Well, uh, the weird, weird, uh, my best-selling book is the King James Only Controversy. So mm -hmm. there you go. Um, mm -hmm. Different different realms and, and different, different contexts there. But uh, so you've, you've written many books. Now you... Um, Biblical Science Institute's been, what, three years, four years now? Four years. We're entering our fifth year now. Really? Yep. Time goes very, very quickly. It does, um, yeah. We're both aging. I, I notice there's a little more yeah, yeah. gray in the hair. Every, every conference I do, I get one more. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because uh, I don't remember those uh, earlier. Oh, they were there. I've, I've had them for a while. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh so biblical science that you were uh, with a number of different ministries in in the past, but mm -hmm. you wanted was this sort of a I want to be able to say everything I need to say the way I want to say it. That's a big part of it. Yeah, yep. yeah, big part of it. Yeah, I hadn't really thought about it yeah. that much, but that's why I do what I do. You know, things you know, things like this. Too. I mean, it'd be it'd be hard to sell this on somebody. I'm going to write it. It's going to have a lot of pretty pictures in it, right? But it's going to demonstrate biblical creation. I'm not sure, but I, this is something God laid on my heart to do, and I wanted to do it, right? And 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 by the way, we haven't really talked about the book a whole lot, but that's one of the things that it does. Is it? It doesn't just. It's not just pick pretty pictures. Now, kids will pick it up. They'll love the pictures. Oh, I of think. course, the yeah. colors is, is beautiful. And, I, and I've thought about you know making calendars with those things, which I can do. And, oh, yeah. and if you get the book, you will get the program. You can do that too. So there right, you go. Right. Right. But um, w one of the things I illustrate in this book is that only the Christian worldview can explain the images that are in this book. One one of the questions that came up on Facebook on my Facebook feed: Who did the cover? And I'm like, I got to be honest with you. God did the cover. <laughs> no human being created that shape. Now I picked the colors, right. but the shape, that's God's. <laughs> I see, you seem to like blue. I do like blue. Yes, I can tell. <laughs> sure. yeah. And a few other but things a, I won't mention. But there's a lot, yeah, there's a lot, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. There's a few, I mean, there, we, I picked a, uh, there's a bunch of different, and it's very colorful. So I think that, uh, but the, the main thing here to, to recognize is, although I picked the color scheme, the colors are assigned based on right. the value of an equation. It, it, and it, it's built into math by the creator of math. So th these literally, this literally is artwork of God. There's no okay, other explanation. Okay, so, so all right, let's 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 be a secularist here for the past for the last few minutes. A secularist looks at that and just goes, "It just is." I mean, okay, so there's a there's a there's an equation, and when you plot it, it does this, and as you zoom in on it, it keeps reduplicating itself. But it's just, it just is. Sound and fury is signifying nothing. Sound and fury yeah. signifying nothing. Um, that's all. That's all they can say. Yeah, and, and I discuss that in the book. I say, okay, how would the secularist try and explain this? Mm -hmm. How would he make sense of it? Because in the secular view, what is math? See, I as a Christian can answer that question. Mm -hmm. I can say math is the study of the relationship between numbers. And somebody says, what are numbers? And I'm going to say numbers are concepts of quantity as determined by God. So in my worldview, math and numbers exist in the mind of God. They're his creations in the sense that he's responsible for them. In the secular view, what, do you, what are numbers? Concepts of quantity. Which is why India can build spaceships and we can build spaceships and land on the moon. Yeah. It doesn't matter if they have 
if it's different over there, there's a consistency that exists everywhere. They can have a different culture, different language, but they use the same map because they're, they have to appeal to the same mind, to the mind of God, in order to be able to do that. And again, they can deny that God, but they can't escape the reality that God, this is God's universe. That's one of the other things the book goes into detail on is uh, how is it, why is it that math applies to the physical universe? Most people have not given that a lot of thought. Most people say, that's silly. Uh, we, we, we learned about math from the physical universe. Not really. Imaginary numbers were not discovered by looking to the physical universe. Now, since we discovered those numbers, we found that there are situations where they do apply to the physical right. universe, right. but they were not discovered that way. Many mathematical truths were, were uh, discovered long before they were discovered to have any physical application to the physical universe. And some that still don't, we don't have any physical application. Right. You can, you can go, you know, the universe, as far as we know, is four dimensions, three of space, one of time. In math, you can do any number of dimensions. You can do what's called Hilbert space, which has an infinite number of dimensions. And you can do math and, and it's meaningful. And so obviously it's not just a reflection of nature. It's, mm -hmm. It goes deeper than that. How can the secularist explain that? Well, Matt, you know, something people invented. No, because then we could have invented it differently. And then mm. India would have a different set of math than we would have, just as we have different civil laws than they have. That's a human invention. And so we, we, these are discussed. And, and I even brought up the, uh, the physicist Eugene uh, Wigner, brilliant Nobel Prize winning PhD physicist. And he wrote a wonderful article back, I think back in the 70s, called The Unreasonable Effectiveness of Mathematics in the Natural Sciences. It's one of my favorite articles. Really? It's br and he, from his... He, brilliant mind, from, but from a secular perspective, he comes to the conclusion he doesn't he doesn't know. Basically, the, the in the end of the, the end of the article, he says the miracle of the appropriateness of the language of mathematics to the I, I'm I forget the exact quote, but to the application of the physical universe is a wonderful gift which we neither understand nor deserve. <laughs> That's his that conclusion. Sounds like grace. <laughs> yeah. It does yeah. <laughs> sounds a lot like grace. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's fascinating. Yeah, that's, that's that's great stuff. Well, so people can go to biblicalscienceinstitute.com. Com. Yeah. Okay. So you, you even had to think about it for I a second. I think about it for a second. Well, it, if you go to the others, it'll forward you there. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. And uh, go to the store, and they can get all the books, including Fractals. Now, I don't think you charge nearly enough for it uh, because it's full color, and it, you know it's, that means you have to have heavy paper and everything mm -hmm. else. Um, uh, but they can get their copy uh, there. Uh, is it eventually going to be available um, on Amazon, places like that? Uh, yeah, I think it will be. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Right. It, it, New Leaf Selling and Answers in Genesis Selling. I will say, though, if you get it through our website, we include the, the CD with it as well. Oh, okay, right. So, and, and the CD has uh, all kinds of uh, <clears throat> fractal plotting software on it, including the one I wrote that, that does the fractals in this book. And it's also got, I don't know if you've had a chance to look at it yet. But no. It, okay. But it also has electronic versions of all the images in the book. Oh, that's neat. And the cool thing is if you use the software that I wrote and you take the image and drop it in the software, you can continue you to can zoom continue in on to it. Zoom so, yeah. So that's, that's and, and, and any new image you save, too, it'll, it'll, it stores the coordinates in the image and the equation and everything you need to know. So you just drop it back in the program and you can continue to zoom in. 